Ayubo and Vanakam. Good morning guys. Right now I'm about to take a trip and we're heading to Kandy. So I'm gonna take you on the journey with me so you can get the experience of what it's like. So these are my bags. I need to pop it in the tuk-tuk. This is my driver. Wow. Good morning, how you doing? Fine, fine. Yeah, I yeah. Are you born? It's been really good to me when I've been here in Ella. A very good um, driver, good hospitality as well. So yeah, this is it, guys. So I want to rush quickly. Let me turn off the lights, okay? I want to rush quickly so I can get the train to Candy, guys. So this place is absolutely amazing. Look at the views I have been seeing being here, guys. Look at that, absolutely absolutely stunning guys so yeah we're gonna head on down to ella town and then straight to the train station all right so let me pop my things in the back yeah yeah sure sure all right so this is my friend's tuk tuk this is it here boom yeah man so he's been really good he has been my host he's been a really good host he looked after me so much when I was here. Excellent breakfast. Very, very good hospitality, guys. So Ella has been an amazing experience. Thank you so much. It's Tutti. All right, see you. Yeah. 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 All right. So, guys, we're in the tuk See you. Bye. We're in the Tuk Tuk now and we're heading to Ella Town guys. So I'm gonna see you and when we get down, I'll show you what it's like on the train and you'll experience a real vibe here in Sri Lanka. And we're going up the hill guys. It's quite weird hilly here. Have a look at this hill. Wow. Okay, I've arrived outside the train station here in Ella and I'll be taking the train from here to Kandy. This is the railway station right behind me. Now, I have been told that it's one of the most memorable things you need to do when you come to Sri Lanka. So I'll go and find out. So I'm taking you on the journey with me. So whatever you like, your popcorn, your hot chocolate, your water, your wine, whatever you drink, sit back, relax as we go on a train to Kandy. Peace. Okay, this is the train that we're getting and uh, this is what it looks like here at the train station, it's very busy at the moment. I'm B. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay, on the railway 
and you can get from Colombo to Candy or Ella to Candy but just look at the view I'm seeing right now Literally just kind of hanging out. Are you Boan? Hyundai, Hyundai. All right, you know. So we're just on the train, guys, and it's kind of nice that you can experience it. You know. Chicken curry? Yeah, chicken curry. Alright, so this is a chicken curry. This is where it comes out like here, so we will taste that out. And the cost is $6.50. Alright. Thank you. So on the train you do have the option of buying food guys. Of course you could buy your own food before somewhere else or you can buy on the train. So let's just try out this chicken curry what they have here very interesting the way they have it you know it's not in a plate or anything it's literally wrapped up like this so you don't have to open it they provide you a little spoon but I have seen some people eat with their hands okay we've opened it up we're opening it up wow all right Okay, so for 650 Sri Lankan rupees, this is what you get. So this is like the right rice. Piece of chicken, it's a chicken curry, but they don't give you much pieces, just one little piece of chicken. All right. And you got this kind of a, uh, I'm not sure what this is, guys. Maybe you can tell me in the comment section. It's kind of like a tortilla. 
tortillas or something like that. So let's taste and see. Mm. Wow. A little bit spicy. You also got chili here as well. Oh, it's spicy. It's a nice taste though. It's not it's not overpowering. You know, it's, it's decent. You can taste the curry, a bit of chili in there. So yeah. That's standard with the rice. It's cooked really well. I would say, you know, the rice got a nice texture to it. So let's try a piece of the chicken. nice bit of spiciness to it you can taste the Sri Lankan curry in there very chilly kind of taste also with it so it's nice I mean I wouldn't say it's over it's not too spicy you know some foods you, you can't even really stomach it because it's too spicy but this is a for the price I've paid it's quite decent and yeah so if you do decide to have a meal on the train wherever you're traveling to in Sri Lanka this is what you'll get and this is the vibe here so I'll finish this up and we'll continue our journey on to Candy all right guys finally arrived in Candy and if you ever decide to take like the first class train to Candy there is a compartment right here where you can put your suitcases so that's convenient so I'm in candy yeah 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 all right that's my friend thank you so much man have a good one yeah so we're in candy happy to be here for the first time so we're gonna check it out you know um, first impression of candy so far being on the train it's definitely much a much more warmer climate comparison hello <laughs> And um, it's much more warmer than uh, Ella, for sure. Much more wider. And I can see more Buddhist temples here in Kandy in comparison to where, when I was in Ella. So that's very, very interesting. Um, yeah, happy to be here. So let's go out and explore. This is what the train station looks like. This is what I'm seeing in front of me, you know. But this is the train. A very interesting thing I know is coming up on this train is that I was in first class but the first class was at the back and second class was forward so that's interesting usually first class is right in the front but here it's at the back so that was really interesting but yeah guys this is Candy this is the train station here in Candy you know this is the railway station they stay railway station so this is the railway station here in Candy, guys. All right, I think I'm gonna have to produce my ticket. Let me look for. So basically, when you're leaving, I think they take the ticket from you that you purchase. So this is what the Sri Lanka railway ticket is like, you know. So yeah. Let the people go first. All right. Okay. Are you born? All right. So that's where he puts it in the box there. And this is the train station, the railway station here in Candy. All right. Let's move, guys. Right. So I need to find my hotel. That's the first thing. And we might explore town a little bit. One of the things you know is when you when you come to any station, like railway station here in Sri Lanka, there's always tuk-tuks around. Always tuk-tuks around asking if you want to go to town. Can they take you back to your hotel? 
and all of that. Hello, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you, thank you, All right, you see that immediately they want to try to get me to get a ride on the tuk tuk. I'm all right for now. I'm going to take a little walk. So, Candy definitely is the city of the last. Um, Sinhalese king actually was the stronghold was here in Kandy so it has a very rich history here in Sri Lanka and of course one of the most important tourist attraction is the um, Buddhist uh, Tooth Temple I believe and um, yeah so that's something we're going to check out immediately we're seeing signs of the Buddhist fate here so we have uh, statue of the Buddha but Kandy gives me a much more city feel it's much bigger and it got a city vibe how are you doing my friend yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's yeah, a good yeah, yeah. all right how can I how can I help you no I'm just walking ah yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, huh? no England yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so this is the vibe. Yeah, this is the vibe, and we're gonna check it out. Say that again, sir. Bogambar Bastan Candy. Oh, the Bogan yeah, Bastan yeah, is yeah, there. Yeah. Oh, all right, thank you so much. So yeah, guys, we're gonna explore more of this city in a bit. All right, guys. After a long seven-hour journey from Ella to Candy, I've arrived at my hotel now, settling in. So this is what my rooms look like. I'm really impressed with everything here. They provided tea and coffee with a kettle, two bottles of water, and of course the bed is right here, really looks nice. Also got a TV, mirrors over there as well, so that's really nice. I'm really loving the wooden furniture they have here. They even have this kind of wooden chair and all of that, so they're really incorporating this kind of a wooden look. They also got the wardrobe here as well, if I wanted to hang my clothes and all of that. So. They're really looking after your boy here, guys. So that's about it. I also got the AC there as well. And I got a, a mini balcony here. So this is the balcony. It's really nice. Green outside. I think that's a Buddhist temple up there. So yeah, it's really nice environment here. Yeah, and this is what the toilet and shower is like. So we got the sink right here, guys. And they also got... um the toilet so you'll notice when you come to Sri Lanka they've got these sprays which you use to kind of wash to wash yourself all right just like that you'll see that a lot in the Middle East as well and some Asian countries so that's there but if you don't want to use that they have the courtesy of providing toilet paper as well they provided towels two towels and it's a shower it's a glass shower all right so they have the glass here and you'll end up and this is the shower guys they also provide hot and cold water so that's really good there's a hot shower you can have here guys i really like that they have something to kind of separate the toilet from the bath a lot of places you go everything is really just in one right but the separation here is really good the place is really clean i'm really liking it so yeah this is it so what you want to do guys is stay tuned to Inspire for Travel as I explore more of Candy City.